First at five, a man charged with killing a grandmother of 10 remains out of jail without needing to post bail. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Rasham Yurcia. And I'm Michael Patterson. Last month, the suspect in the murder case was granted approval from the court to seek treatment for a leg injury outside of Kern County. Now his defense suggests the leg may need surgery. Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein tells us what he saw in the courtroom Monday morning. I don't have a particular problem with leaving them out for a short period of time under these conditions, but pretty quickly that window's going to start closing. Kareem Rayad sat in court Monday morning nearly a month after being released from Kern County Jail to find out he will remain out of jail for at least another month. The 18-year-old is charged with second-degree murder and other felonies after the death of Gail Sue Price in April. Rayad's attorneys are arguing he needs to receive medical treatment, including surgery on his leg. The accused making his appearance in court while sitting in a wheelchair. And I need to, one, have confidence that the surgery needs to be done sooner than later, and two, that the uh, um, physical therapy at this point is being provided and will continue to be provided, but I have to have some confidence that it can be picked up once he goes back in. Judge Oglesby then asked the probation officer assigned to Riyadh if there had been any problems monitoring him. The officer responding there has not been any issues. Rayad fleeing has been a concern for some of Price's family, also notable today, were several people in support of Rayad. Rayad himself also continuing to sport a clean-shaven look and a quiet demeanor not seen in his first court appearance. But Price family attorney Matt Clark says Rayad's recent presentation should have no impact on the perception of him. Well, I don't know if the, him having a, a, a bigger consort of people to follow him into the courtroom has any meaning or doesn't. I mean, in regards to could he present himself in a better way to the court, I'm not quite sure he could present himself any worse than he has previously. Um, if you look at the history of the case and his court appearances, he's never made a positive impression on anybody that's attended those appearances. A person close with Price's family told Eyewitness News that although they are disappointed in the judge's decision to postpone the review, they were relieved to see Rayad back in court and that he has been cooperating with probation, possibly a sign that he will one day be brought to face justice. Reporting in Bakersfield, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News.